Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, just want to do a quick video on highlighting colors, uh, color pencils that I found and I got myself a new Bible. When I'm doing my teachings, sometimes when I'm trying to flip through, I've got um, papers in here with different spots because I'm going through like different studies and my private uh, readings, uh, personal devotionals. Um, and it gets to be a pain in the butt trying to flip through it and then automatically stop it. Or if we get to a verse, it's like a page right next to where I'm having a bookmark or something like that. And it tends to get in the way. So on plus side, it's like the place that I get the Bibles from, uh, Bible Church Publishers, I'll put the link down below. I'll try to put the link of the color pencils too down below. But um, they finally came out. For the longest time, the super, super giant print, they were always out. They're always out. So I was like, my eyes aren't doing so well. And I can still read the fine, fine print. Like, they're really small because I collect Bibles so I can hand them out. But it hurts. I can't read for a long period of time with those really, really small stuff. Small uh, print. Um, text sizes. So, I wanted to make a point real quick though. This is the Bible I've been using. It's still a good authorized King James Version, lambskin. It lasts a lifetime and more lifetimes, but if you take care of it. It's supposed to be open, it's supposed to be read, it's going to get some wear and tear. Mine did. Um, this page right here, I don't know how, but at the very beginning, this didn't, uh, it's got all wrinkled. I don't know if you can see it, but this whole page got wrinkled because somehow when it got closed, it got closed where it was not all the way out, the pages. But, real quick, how do some people treat their Bibles? Okay. I hope you, I don't know if some of you guys might get this, some of you might not, but see right now, this is called, to the lost world, this is called mint in package. You know, if you ever had like baseball cards or uh, comic books and stuff like that where and right now the superhero paraphernalia junkola junk uh, bottom line if you open the package it loses its value so that's the whole joke so right now this King James Bible is mint in package and the lost world as long as you don't open this its value is it stays high but as a Bible believing Christian it's the opposite if you don't open this up, let's see if I can get this without hurting it too much. If you don't open this up and read it and use it, that's when it becomes worthless. Okay. So ugh. trash cans back there. So We'll get a close-up on this. I'm really excited. When I was checking it, you open it up. I personally, 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 I do not like the ones that have the stuff in the center. Oh, you can check out that verse, this verse, or has the commentary down below because you get too distracted on what men say and it gets in the way of your studies. All right? Plus, a lot of the ones, when you take that out, you got a lot more room to make notes. So, I like this. But I came across these old Bibles. Didn't want to throw them out. But you look at these Bibles. First thing that comes to mind is someone didn't take care of them. Okay. Um, but there's times where I've come across old Bibles that look great. And you look at the year that they came out. Um, I think I have one that's, gosh, 80 to 100 years old Bible and it's still in better condition than these two. Okay, these two are falling apart. So yeah, you need to take care of your Bibles, but they're still meant to be used, and over time there's going to be wear and tear. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to have you guys come a little closer, and we're going to start uh, going through, and I'm going to show you what I do and what you can do. Um, so pencils that I got. Oops. There's a smaller pack of this exact size uh, type pencils that has soft lead. Okay, And I'll show you when you get closer to make sure there's a ball on the end of the pencil. It's not sharp point. It's a ball. You have to use a separate piece of paper to ground it down to it's like a ball 
It's flat, like a pen, the ball that's on a pen. Okay, it's not sharp, it's dull, but you can still underline things with. So, And we'll do a close-up, but like I said, I bought the $25 one, and it's got way more pencils than I'd ever need. Um, you never know if uh, certain shades you might run out, you might, and go just a little bit different shade, and it might still work for, uh, for your... Um, table we're gonna make a table like that shows the context of every section like eternal security and then what color you're using for it so but they had a smaller one that was like 15 or 16 dollars and I actually I actually got the big one thinking you know maybe I'd use more of the pencils but I don't know so those are the pencils so at this point I'm gonna ask you guys to Come in a little bit closer. Okay, I don't have an overhead camera, so I'm trying to figure this out as best we can. So, this time, uh, let's go to my old one. Wow. Go ahead. My old one, there we go, kind of. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors and just did what pencils I had on me that I got a hold of. So this time I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colors. Because as you get going, you can do something simple, just a few colors, and then eventually when you get up to it, uh, and you start learning like for babes in Christ and people that um, become mature Christians um, you'll start learning a lot more subjects and you want to start doing a lot more so what we're going to do first is the table of contents that I was talking about so in the front of the book you're going to have a lot of white pages okay. so Pick one of them that you want. I'm going to try this one right here. We're going to slide this over a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to write them out with the color we're going to use. So what I do is, is I take the red pencil and I would say salvation and then I like to color it in like a line like you would for highlighting. So I know it's not coming in crystal clear, but like I said, we're trying, trying to do the best I can. So we got the salvation one, eternal security. It's one of the subjects I wanted to do. So I'm going to write eternal security. And once again, I like to do a little bit of a line to show what the highlight's going to look like. Because, like I said, some of these colors are kind of the same. I had to go through and try to get colors that were really different, distinct from each other. So, instruction righteousness. The do's and the don'ts. Eternal security, we're sealed into the day of redemption. Now, salvation, as we're going to get in here, you can have salvation through all the different dispensations and highlight them in a certain way. Salvation is going to be different in the time of Jacob's trouble. Salvation... Uh, Salvation, I'm sorry, salvation's always been God's grace. God dealing with man, saving man by his grace. But how you find that grace, the plan of salvation, maybe I should have put plan of salvation, is different throughout the Bible, the different dispensations. But instruction and righteousness, so I'm going to write that down. Instructions in Righteousness. Now once again, doing a show of it. Pre-time of Jacob's trouble. Oops, it's gonna be purple. So we have pre-time of. Jacob's 
trouble. Uh, see if I spell that right, yeah. Catching away. And you could abbreviate it, I'm just writing it all out, but you can always do abbreviations too. So there's no instrument there's no specific order of colors. Sometimes you can do red for salvation. I did orange for eternal security, but one of the subjects I want to have is hell, Satan, and Antichrist. And you could have done orange for that one because it's fire, hell. Um, but I wanted to keep some of it the same from the old Bible. The other Bible I have. So Another good one that I do is the Word of God, silver. Okay, try it in the fire. Lowercase w. <laughs> Word of God. Okay. Like I said, if there's a ball on the end, I don't think it'll show. Well, but once you if, you, if you've seen this page, how I just made sure all the different colors, I made sure they're different, you could see the difference between them, and I made sure to ball them down so they're not a sharp point on the end of these pencils, color pencils. So, we have that one done. What else do I want to do? Godhead. So then we've got Godhead. Then, uh, false converts, brown. Chose brown for a reason for false converts. What does the Bible say about a sow wallowing in the mire and a dog returned to its own vomit? What God thinks of a false convert? So, false convert. Dispensational teaching and rightly dividing. Slash, I just say dispensational slash rightly dividing. Hell, Satan, and Antichrist. So, hell slash Satan slash Antichrist. Mainly for the Antichrist spirit, which also goes to false convert. So you can, I'm going to show you when we get to it how to do um, multiple highlighting on the same uh, verse. So. Just checking it again. Like I said, I wish I don't really use an overhead camera just to, for this situation. Um, I'm sorry that it's a little foggy, but hopefully it's you know you can still listen and follow in. Uh, so we have that color done. Light blue. So we have judgment. I want to do the judgment seat and the. Uh, Crowns of rewards. Okay. So, judgment seat slash crowns of reward. I forgot that I have. I still have one more color, so if I come up with something else that's a distinction, uh, I think it's pink, some kind of a pink. So I still have one more color, so if something comes up as another topic, I got an extra color pencil just in case. I want to add a whole other thing here. So this is what I did. Um, if you have your Bible out, I know this isn't really a Bible study, but uh, Genesis 2.16.
Genesis 2, 16. And what I would do is, I would take red, this is what I do, uh, get the right side showing. So 2, 16 and 17. What I do is I'd highlight the number. What I'm going to do is for a different dispensation, salvation and different dispensations, I'll highlight the number with red. And then for this dispensation, I'm going to highlight the whole chapter instead. So I highlight 16 and 17. Why? Because in the Garden of Eden, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou shalt eatest thereof that thou shalt surely die. First dispensation, it's works. Jesus is walking in the garden, he's talking with them. So there's no faith there. Jesus is actually physically walking and talking with them. It's works. So what else you can do from our uh, thing here, uh, where is it? You can take green dispensational teaching, okay, that this is a different dispensation. The garden. So you can sit here. The more you highlight in one spot, the more you have to slowly go over it. But don't push too hard. And I do it at an angle. I don't go straight up and down. I do it at an angle so it doesn't tear the paper. And take your time. Don't go too fast. Showing that this is a different dispensation. Now, the different ways you can highlight, and it's all up to you, there's highlighting like I'm doing now. There's at the very beginning where the number is, you can highlight a little section there just so you see the red. It's, this is salvation in this time period. Then there's always, there's usually sometimes, not always, but in some Bibles there's usually some space at the end of each chapter or each verse there will be a little bit of a space so you can also do a little square highlight there so you can have one two and then you're highlighting the verse and then the other thing that I've done before is I did a box around it you can draw a box around where you don't touch the number and you don't touch the space at the end of the verse you just do a box around it then you can highlight it a different color so you can have up to four colors and then within this, like if you have a passage that says the Word of God and then it talks about something else, I can highlight the Word with uh, silver and then I can highlight the rest of the passage for what the context is and then you can still get up to like five colors in one verse. And that's the whole point. So when I flip through and I read, it's like, oh Lord, I remember that study. Oh, I remember this. Another verse to turn to. Um, 2 Corinthians 11, 1 through 4. 2 Corinthians. Okay. These pages are brand new, they need a little working in. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 11, 1 through 4. Corinthians 11. There we go, one more page. A lot of pages per chapter because this is like a giant print. So 2 Corinthians 11, 1 through 4. So we can read it real quick. Would to God you could bear with me a little in my folly, indeed bear with me, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin unto Christ. But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled 
Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preach another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if, if ye receive another spirit, which we have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Okay? So I go back here, and you can highlight some. from remember we talked about a spouse to one husband, uh, true converts, they're, when you get saved, the old man, the, the connection you have to your body from your soul, you know how the spiritual circumcision made without hands, that's the old husband. He's got to die so you can be married to the new husband. If you're still married to the old husband, you're a false convert. You're lost. If you're married to the new husband, you're saved. So you can highlight that. Spouse you to one husband, you can highlight that for salvation. Okay? You're supposed to be a spouse to one husband. You're supposed to be in Christ Jesus. Verse 3, But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled you. Serpent. Remember we had color for hell, Satan, and Antichrist. So I find my copper. And I'm going to highlight the serpent. Not really. Okay. Beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preach another Jesus, okay, remember I decided to do copper for hell, Satan, and Antichrist. So preach another Jesus, which is the Antichrist. Whom we have not preached, or if you received another spirit, lowercase s spirit, the Antichrist spirit. And that's what's going on in 1 Corinthians. This is the main thing to help outline what's going on. Two things. This, and they're using the flesh to appeal to the flesh to keep people from getting saved and mess up those who are saved. But another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, and this one, I would use false converts. Okay. Receive or another gospel. Because that's basically what a false convert is. He he um someone comes along and preaches another Jesus, an Antichrist Jesus, and gets people and um to receive another gospel and and when they do that they receive an antichrist spirit. Okay. And right here at the end it says, Have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. What's it talking about when ye might well bear with him? Okay. Hell again. Where's Satan going to end up? Satan is going to wind up in hell. To burn for all eternity. And if you worship an antichrist, have an antichrist spirit, because you accepted... Um, Another gospel, then that's where you're going to end up. Some colors that are light, I go over it several times. So stuff like that, when you're going and doing Bible studies online or your own personal devotions, you'll come across stuff and you'll want to highlight them. For I have espoused you to one husband. Not two. We're going to be doing a study coming up talking about how people in 1st and 2nd Corinthians and what's going on today is that people are trying to stay married to the old husband and claim to be married to the new husband. That's called fornication. Okay? Adultery. So, yeah, I just want to give you two examples of things you could highlight as you're doing things in the Bible. So I'll be, I'll be 
enjoying going back through all the old Bible studies with this uh, Bible that I used to go through and uh, get things done. So, like I said, make sure to have a list. Make yourself a list of all the main subjects that you want. Make sure to test out the colors to make sure there's an actual distinction between the two. And then, um, go ahead and do a tables in the front, table of context, to let, so you can remember, so you don't forget. And then, like I said, when you start going through, I'll have my stack of pencils with me. The only other thing I do, here it is over here, is I will have a pencil. And what I do with the pencils in the spaces that they're spaces, I can write in, okay, in the New Testament where it says it is written, I can write the Old Testament verse where it goes back. So, um, so that is it. Thank you for watching, and I will hopefully get some more studies out, and that this is very helpful to you guys. I'm sorry that it wasn't zooming in. I don't have the best camera in the world, and I don't have the overhead camera. So... Like I said, I like the book. It's very big and heavy, so it's something that's going to be around here for me to do my private studies and watch and study uh, teachings from other brothers in Christ. And this is going to be the one I actually use for carrying around with me and uh, uh, doing my Bible studies on videos. So I'll try to link where I got the Bible and link where I got the pencils. And uh, thank you for watching.